Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sewn. Today we are going to be doing angles in a triangle. Now there are all sorts of different problems. The first ones are going to start out easy and then they're going to get a little more complicated and then they're going to get even even more complicated. So I recommend watching through the entire video if you're struggling with this because I'm going to go through probably every problem. This is one of the few problem uh, sheets where I end up going through everything because it just gets a little harder as it goes. So first thing you need to know is angles in a triangle always add to 180 degrees. So if you have two of them, you just subtract both of them, 180 minus the 65 minus the 57, and you get your answer. So 180 minus the 65 and minus the 57, we get 58 degrees for that last and final angle. If you have a right angle, it will be indicated by a box. So we have 90 and 40. You have the option of doing 90 plus 40 plus the question mark to equal 180. I don't always recommend it, but it does work. So you could add these up and then subtract. And if you do that, if you add them up, you get 130 and then you subtract, you end up 130 plus question mark equals 180. If you subtract now, you get 50. Okay, so that's just another way to do it. Okay. So sometimes I do think the adding up thing kind of makes more sense. In this case, you can almost do it in your head. How much do we have between these two? You got 20 and 130, that's 150. How much more do you need to get to 180? 30, all right? You could also just subtract both of them from 180 individually, and it works. All right, here, this one I would recommend just typing it in your calculator, minus the 85, minus the 50, because they're a little funky, makes it a little harder. 180 minus the 85 minus the 50 ends up being 45. All right, so those were the easier ones. Upgrading a little bit to the harder-ish medium ones. Medium, maybe not hard, okay? So here we got 137. It is on the outside of the triangle. So that is not incredibly helpful. The 102 is on the inside, helpful. But because the 137 makes a straight line, you can do 180 minus 137 because straight lines also equal 180, and you get 43 here. If you remember the exterior angle theorem, you can add these two up and get question mark right away. If you don't, you can add them up. 43 and 140 and 102 makes uh, 102 plus 43 ends up being 145 between both of these. If these are 145, how much is left over for this one? 180 minus 145 ends up being 35 degrees for that. And if 35 degrees is here and you got a straight line, 180 minus 35 gets you right back to the 145. So that proves a little bit the exterior angle theorem, which is a different video. All right. But it just happened to be there here. Number six. We have a vertical angle, so this is also going to be 35. We got 35 here, we got 100 there. Between both of these, we got 135. This is the exterior angle. If you recognize that, you'll get your answer right away with 135. If you don't, you gotta take the 180 and you gotta subtract the 135 away. And then when you do that, you end up with 45. And with 45, you can subtract from 180 again and you can get 135 right back to back, okay? Moving right along. I don't want to go through each problem too thoroughly, but we do have a lot to get through. This is, a, this is a bulk video. Sorry about that. 30, 20 makes 50. If we got 50 between both of these, this part would have to be 130 when you subtract from 180. 130 and 50 makes 180. And then vertical angles means the question mark is also 130. This does not count as an exterior angle theorem because it would be these that would end up being 50. Both of those 50s that I just wrote in would be the exterior angles. All right, 55, straight line. We got 155, take away that from 180, you get 25 left over. 25 and 60 makes 85. If we got 85 between these two, then we have to take that away from 180, you get 95 here when you take it away from 180. And that's a straight line, so we're back to 85 when you subtract the 95 from 180, which coincidentally, another exterior angle theorem. Two interiors always add to the exterior if they're in the right orientation. All right, moving along. Let's do this. 
So this, these are upgrading to the hard problems, but not the problems that I would consider to be annoying. The annoying ones are that, the ones that ask you to solve for x. 20 and 40 make 60. So we got 60 here. How much more do we have to have for that angle right there to make 180? You could take 180, subtract 60. You got 120 right there, which means we got 120 on the opposite side over here. Now you got two angles in a triangle. If you have two angles in a triangle, you can always find the third. That third angle would just be whatever 180 minus 120 and 39 are, which uh, I don't know what that is. That is, that is a number, 180 minus 120 minus 39 is 21 degrees. Okay, we got this mountaintop problem. How do we do that? Well, we start with what has the most information. The thing that has the most information is on this left side. You got a triangle with one, two angles, whereas over here you got a question mark, which normally means not helpful, and a 35. That 50 is maybe going to be helpful eventually. We got 60, we got 65. You combine those, you get 125. Okay, how much more has to be right here for that to make a full triangle? Well, 180 take away or subtract the 125 makes 55 right there. 55, 60, and 65 make 180. This whole thing is a straight line. So these one, two, three are also going to make 180. It's the, it's the number of the day. We got 50, we got 55. How much more do we need to get to here? We got to do 180 minus 55 and minus 50, or you could do 55 plus 50 and get 110 and take the 110 away from 180. Both get you 70. Okay, so don't worry about it. They're both going to get you the same answer. 70 degrees over here. We got another triangle. This one right here. So if we got 70 degrees here and 35 there, together 70 and 35 have already made 105 degrees. Well, how much more do I need to get to 180? And the answer to that would be 75 more. So that means that question mark has to be 75 degrees because between 75, 35, and 70, we make 180. So 75 degrees. All right, this one seems interesting because we got a right angle here. Now that whole thing is 90, but like each individual part is not. We're gonna start with the question, or uh, the problem that has like the most parts to it, and that would be this triangle right here, that bottom triangle. We got 84 and 36, which means I can find out that angle right there where I put the dot, the bottom half, so to speak, of the 90. If we take away 180 minus 84 minus 36, you get 60 degrees for that. So if we got 60 degrees there, then what else can we do with that? Well, if 60 degrees here and this whole angle combined is 90, and we got 60 on this bottom half, well, that means 30 has to be the top half because 30 and 60 add to the total of 90 degrees. And that was the key that we needed to unravel the question mark on the top triangle because now we got 86 and 30, we have to do the 180 minus the 86 minus the 30 because those are the other two angles in the triangle. 180 minus 86 minus 30, you get, for the question mark, 64 degrees. Okay? Here we go. We got 27 here. We got question mark there. They're not gonna, it's not going to be 27, and most likely, as much as we want it to be. We got to focus on the smaller, not the smaller, the bottom triangle here. We got 35, we got 23. You got to combine those and subtract them from 180. 180 minus 35 minus 23 ends up being 122. We got 122 here. Vertical angle, 122 there. Okay, you got two angles in a triangle. Add them up and find the third. So 180 must equal 27 and 122 and that question mark. So you can add them and subtract them, or you can subtract them right away. Minus 27 minus 122 ends up being 31 degrees. All right, we got four more for you. If you're interested in watching the 
x variants of these, the ones where you have to solve for x. I'm gonna probably do that in a different video because this one's already getting to 10 minutes long and I don't know if you guys wanna watch a 30 minute video. So we got question mark over here. Odds are we're not gonna be starting there, but we can start anywhere we have a straight line and it looks like we have one angle a part of it. So this 55, 155, we could take away from 180 and get 25 there. So 120, 125 and 155 make 180. How much would have to go here in order to make 180 with the 115 on the other side? Well, that would be, I think, 65, 70, 65. So we got 65 there. We got 85 here. 65 and 85 add together to make 150. And if we take that 150 away, from 180, you get 30. So 30, 65, and 85 all add to 180. We have a straight line here. This straight line has to add to 180. We got 30 here, we got 90 there. How much more would have to be here? Well, we got 120 between 30 and 90. So 60 with 120 makes 180. We could add it up to confirm. Now we gotta find the question mark, which you could do two ways. We have 60 and 25, those are interior angles. They will add to the singular exterior angle, not the only way to do it. You could add them up, figure out that those are 85, figure out that that means that this has to be 95 to add to 180, and that means that this would go back to 85 once you realize that 85 and 95 add to 180. Okay, whoo, getting tired of talking almost. We got 156, we got 24 for it to equal 180. Does that help? Not yet. We got 20 and 35. Those combine and make 55. 55 taken away from 180 makes this 125. Vertical angles 125. Not an exterior angle theorem. We just got two angles inside of a triangle. We need to find the third. We got to subtract them. And when we do that, 180 minus 125 minus 24 ends up being 31 degrees for that one right there. Okay, last two ones before uh, I make part two for the, the solving equations video. Fill in our vertical angle, 45. Is that all we can fill in at the moment? I think so, easily. Um, we have two angles here. They are two angles in a triangle, so you could subtract them from 180. When you subtract them from 180, I believe you get 75, but I'm gonna check it with my calculator. It's 75. You have a straight line between these three angles, so straight lines also add to 180, so you can take the 75 and the 68 and subtract them from 180. 180 minus 75 minus 68, you get 37 degrees for that leftover bit right there. You got 37 and 100. I know from experience that this is gonna be 137. Those two interior will add into that exterior angle if you don't see it right away, which you might, and that's okay. If you subtract 180 minus 137, you get 43 here. And then you look straight line, 180 minus 43, guess what you get though? 137, so. Exterior angle theorem definitely helps out and makes things a little bit quicker, but it's not necessary. Okay, last one, 16, we got 45 here, 45 there. We got 75 here, 75 there. Okay, no problem. Those are vertical angles, those are easy, but now we got two angles in a triangle. Two angles in a triangle always add to 180, so we're gonna subtract the 45, we're gonna subtract the 75. You get 60 for this one right here. Look for your straight line. You got straight lines right there. Straight lines always add to 180. So 180 minus 60 minus 79. 180 minus 60 minus 79 leaves us with 41 for that little angle right there. Exterior angle theorem. Hopefully you're starting to see it. You got two insides. Add up to that one. 41 and 68 will make that angle right there. 41 plus 68 ends up being 109. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Until next time, everybody, stay positive. I am gonna make the other video and finish up with the equations. 
Until then, I will see y'all later. Bye.